it's Anya from Digital Painterly. Today I wanted to show you very quickly how you can put the image of your beloved dog into the sailor portrait from my Ahoy Sailor latest collection. First of all, just wanted to tell you if you don't use Photoshop, there is also, also a free tool, a free software called GIMP, for example. And there's another tutorial on my uh, playlist how to do that way. So it's not with sailors, it's with different sets, but it, the principle's the same. But if you're lucky enough to have Photoshop, just follow this one and let's have a look at this. So first of all, I've chosen this very, uh, very standard, very normal uh, image of a dog. We have to flip dog into the right side because at the moment he's looking the wrong way. So you either flip this image or you either flip the dog. They have to be at the same page, let's say. Um, and we're going to do it in image, image rotation and flip horizontally. Now the dog is looking the right way. So let's take a look at the uh, select object selection tool. If you can't find it, you might have to go to those three dots and get that tool out. Usually it's under other selection tools. And all you do is just select that either this way or just touching. So it works either way. And now you just need to press the masking tool on the bottom here. And as you can see, it's not doing an amazing job because we still have to fix a couple of uh, bits and bobs. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to double click on that masking uh, refining bit. So you can either do it with this brush and just brush the edges. And that works pretty good. Or you can just press refine her. But I prefer to do it with this uh, brush manually because you have a little bit more, bit more control. Just going over where the hair is at the edge so it just makes it very lovely selection it doesn't look like a helmet just like that and press ok so now right click apply a layer mask I'm going to use my lasso tool and only cut the bit I really need. I don't need that body. And with the move tool, I'm going to drag it all the way to my sailor portrait. As you can see the whole body, we're going to establish how big the head's going to be. And this is looking a little bit large, so I'm going to resize it. So guys, with the, each update of Photoshop, I kid you not, there's rules are changing or there might be something I'm missing because every time you either resizing that or with a shift or without, I swear the rules change. So at the moment, without the shift, uh, it resizes without distortion. But if you hold shift, it distorts it where it used to be other way around. So I'm really confused now with the rules. But you try either way and what works for you. I think that's a little bit small, just a bit bigger. I think that's that's about right. I'm just going to close up so I can see more what's happening. So this head uh, layer, I'm going to decrease opacity to about 77 just so I can see the hat and what's underneath, how far I have to go. Now I'm applying the mask, which is on the bottom here where the layer panel is. And with my, uh, let's choose the brush, soft round brush. With a black one, black brush, I'm going to, that's looking fine here because I'm gonna do something else to those little hair. Just a tiny bit. I need to get rid of this because this is the hat. And I'm going to let those ears out because they're ever so cute. Oh, that would be a shame just to cover him. I'm going to pretend they are sticking out from this hat. That will be shame to get rid of the ears. I'm going to pretend he's wearing this hat. It's 
So I just changed to 20% and just slightly going here. Uh, back to 100%. This is something we don't need. And you have to be careful around the edges because, again, you don't want to give it a helmet look. The how to fix that if we bring the opacity all the way up. It doesn't actually look too bad, but I want to teach you in case you do have the case where the hair needs to be a little bit more visible. So you go to one of your pencil sort of brushes. It doesn't matter which one. Um, by the way, guys, if you have Photoshop, you can download so many free brushes, especially Kyle uh, collection is free for um, cloud subscribers. And you're gonna get your head spinning if you if you get there because it's so many to choose they are amazing and they all included in your subscription so you don't have to pay a penny for a brush so what i'm having here i just took kind of just an ordinary pencil very small size and i'm creating that illusion of hair but i'm doing it in a kind of negative way so I'm kind of erasing and don't worry it looks a little bit of crude at the moment we will we will get to this next stage and you see what happens so just not too unified if you are struggling to make it too neat too predictable you can kind of look away for a second or close your eyes let your five-year-old do it just a little 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 bit smaller bigger just so it gives that illusion of hair and right here now swapping to white and look how nicely that gives you the this effect so we're going a little bit over so this brings it back because that's the way masking works uh, the black conceals white reveals and back to our black brush this is looking a bit too square here now i went a little bit too far here so i'm going to get a bigger brush just a little bit more and that's looking much much better and you can you can spend some time doing that you can you can not it really depends what type of hair of uh, your doggy has so the masking tool usually does the good job the refine hair especially if you have a decent uh, contrast in your image but this is um, yeah I'm happy with that so apply layer mask And now the next step, we just need to match it more to the skin underneath uh, because you can leave it looking like a human, it's up to you, or you can just color it slightly in the color of that dog. It doesn't have to have fur, but it will be nice to make it more believable. So go on that bottom layer, create a new empty layer and set it up to color, color mode. Now sample from any kind of mid color from your pet and this is going to be color of your, sorry let's change it into soft brush, that's going to be color of that skin underneath. So this is sitting under that head and I'm just painting it over that skin and look at that. This is something you can experiment, uh, let's see on the arms. The good thing is it just keeps all the texture nicely um, so you don't have to worry that it just looks like very very fake okay so that's looking good so far and now we can um, add our texture I have included a couple of textures for you uh, at this point you can also let's desaturate slightly our dog's hair head because he is a little bit in a um, not matching too well to the rest of the image just a little bit perfect also if you have a little bit more distance here 
you can create shadow. Let's do that now. And we're going to go into a multiply mode. We're going to sample some sort of color like that and just go a little bit like this. That creates shadow. I'm going to go very low opacity, about 20, and just make it softer shadow. And now we'll reduce everything into about 60%. You don't want to do everything at 100% because uh, working in layers, working slowly, will give you a much better effect. Right, so we got those bits in place. We can select everything and merge layers. Now we can just add our textures. In your pack, you're gonna find antique texture and just a gray one. And let me show you how to work those. So with the texture one, gray one, I'm just gonna move it over, transform it into place. If you don't have those selected, it's Control T. Or option T to activate your transform tool. Happy with that and select that layer and now choose overlay. You could choose soft, soft light as well but it's not going to give you that much of a difference so it's good to choose that on the overlay mode and I'm happy with that. Now let's just move uh, this is with and without it's ever slightly so tiny the effect you can probably see in his fur right here around the eye let me just zoom in even more I don't know if you can see it just unifies everything the next um, layer of texture that's gonna be much more visible let's go antique texture and I'm going to drag it over versatile this one Just make it square square I mean fit <laughs> drag it out and confirm and this time we're going to use soft light because our overlay would be too overpowering soft light and it's very very intensive we're going to bring opacity down of this layer into whatever you feel like really but this is a nice level I think 50 60 percent because you can see that spilling into his fur it covers the background it keeps that nice warm feeling also uh, covers the, the whole image those textures are very useful just to unify everything I hope that you found this tutorial useful please let me know if you have any questions at all I'll be happy to help you in comments and the link to this product will be in the description thank you so much take care bye